Imagine gliding down a silent road at midnight. The dashboard glows a soft blue. The fuel gauge is dead empty, yet the engine hums like a predator in the dark. No charger, no plug, no fuel. Just motion. Our team is inside a car that, if the inventor is right, never needs a single drop of gas or a second of charging. Sounds impossible? That's exactly what Maxwell Chikumbuzo claims. Maxwell isn't a Silicon Valley billionaire. He's a self-taught inventor from Zimbabwe who says he's cracked a code the world's best scientists have chased for over a century. A self-powered electric vehicle that harvests ambient radio frequencies and converts them into usable energy. If true, this could rewrite physics, destroy the global oil market, and end our dependence on fossil fuels overnight. If false, it could be one of the most convincing illusions in technology history. Tonight, we drove that car, and we walked away with seven discoveries that will force you to question everything you thought you knew about energy and invention. Stay with us until the end, because the final discovery is the one even a NASA engineer told us. If this holds, it changes everything. Before we ever touched the wheel, Maxwell laid out his boldest statement. According to him, the vehicle contains an internal generator that pulls electricity from naturally occurring radio frequencies, waves already bouncing invisibly around the planet. No combustion. No solar panels. No charging stations. On paper, it sounds like perpetual motion, a concept science rejects. The first law of thermodynamics says energy cannot be created from nothing. Yet Maxwell insists the energy is already there, just untapped, like a river flowing through the air. We pored over his public patents and technical sketches. They mention clean magnetic energy conversion, a system of antennas and proprietary circuitry. Independent engineers we consulted admitted the concept is intriguing, but warned that no peer-reviewed data proves it works at scale. Our first discovery wasn't a gadget or a hidden battery. It was this paradox. The claim itself defies physics, but it is presented with such technical confidence that even seasoned scientists pause. That tension between accepted science and what we were about to experience set the stage for everything that followed. The second discovery came the moment we climbed inside. The car's interior looked like a standard mid-size electric sedan. Digital speedometer, battery indicator, sleek touchscreen. But one thing was missing. A charging port. Maxwell turned the key, actually a simple start button. No roar, just a smooth electric purr. The dashboard read 100% power, yet Maxwell swore the car hadn't been charged in months. We pulled onto a private test track. Acceleration, immediate. Handling, smooth. Top speed during our run, just over 90 kilometers per hour. The strangest part? After nearly an hour of continuous driving, the battery indicator hadn't dropped a single percent. Could the display be faked? We brought our own infrared thermometer and portable multimeter to check for hidden heat sources or external power feeds. Nothing unusual, was it proof? No, but it was enough to make one engineer on our team whisper, if this is a trick, it's a masterpiece. If this drive already has your heart racing, hit subscribe right now, because we investigate technologies most channels won't even touch, and what comes next will challenge you even more. Our third discovery came when Maxwell reluctantly opened the hood. Instead of a familiar electric vehicle layout, we saw a dense cluster of antennas, copper coils, and sealed black modules, components we couldn't immediately identify. Maxwell allowed us to use a handheld spectrum analyzer. The device registered faint but constant radio frequency activity inside the compartment. Signals far stronger than typical background noise. He explained that these signals are captured by proprietary antennas, converted into electricity through a process he calls clean magnetic energy conversion, and then stored in high-density capacitors. We asked about backup batteries. He claimed there were none beyond small capacitors used for stabilization. When we requested to remove a panel to verify, he declined, citing trade secrets. An independent electrical engineer on our team noted that the readings were interesting but not conclusive. Strong RF activity doesn't automatically mean you can pull infinite power, she said. Still, she admitted the setup was unlike anything she had seen in a conventional EV. Before moving on, let us know in the comments. What do you think is hidden behind those sealed modules? 
a revolutionary energy harvester, or simply a very clever battery system? Your theory might appear in our next video. The deeper we looked, the more resistance we encountered from the scientific community. We shared our preliminary readings with three independent experts, a professor of electrical engineering at MIT, a senior physicist from a European energy lab, and a NASA propulsion consultant. All three gave the same first reaction. Extraordinary claims require extraordinary proof. They explained that harvesting ambient radio frequencies is possible, but only in minuscule amounts, enough to power a tiny sensor, not a moving car. The MIT professor calculated that even if you captured every watt of RF energy in a large city, it would barely light a small LED. And yet, our multimeter readings during the test drive showed a stable power output far beyond those calculations. Could there be an unknown energy source? Or was the car secretly drawing stored power in ways we hadn't detected? This clash, data that didn't match theory, was our fourth discovery. It wasn't proof of free energy, but it wasn't easy to dismiss either. Next, we followed the paper trail. Maxwell provided documentation of patents filed in several countries under the name Greener Power Machine and Clean Magnetic Energy Converter. We verified that such patents exist, but a patent is not scientific validation. It's only a legal claim. We also dug into company records and past demonstrations. In 2015, Maxwell unveiled a similar technology to Zimbabwean officials, and in 2018 he reportedly powered a house and television sets using a self-contained generator. But no independent lab has ever published a peer-reviewed test confirming the technology. Here's where it gets intriguing. Some components in the car, particularly the motor assembly, appear to be modified versions of existing high-efficiency EV parts. That means it could be an ultra-efficient battery system masquerading as something revolutionary. Whether genius breakthrough or clever disguise, the evidence trail left us with more questions than answers. Comment below. Do you think this is visionary innovation or a sophisticated rebranding of known tech? If Maxwell's claims were true, the implications would be earth-shattering. Imagine a world where cars never refuel, where nations no longer fight over oil, where electric grids become optional. The potential disruption to trillion-dollar industries is almost unthinkable. Maxwell told us he's been approached by investors but refuses to sell out, fearing suppression or misuse. He hinted at offers from large corporations, figures we couldn't independently confirm. Whether real or exaggerated, the fear is understandable. History is full of technologies that threatened entrenched power and disappeared. This sixth discovery wasn't a component or a reading. It was a realization of the geopolitical stakes. If real, this car isn't just transportation. It's a revolution, and revolutions have enemies. Finally, the seventh discovery came not from the car itself, but from a thought experiment. What if Maxwell is right? What if energy really is all around us waiting to be captured? Picture a planet with no fuel scarcity. Homes powered by invisible waves. Planes that never land to refuel. The environmental impact would be staggering. Zero emissions, zero fossil fuel dependency, and a massive reduction in carbon footprints worldwide. Of course, there's a darker side. If one inventor holds the key, who controls distribution? Who profits? And what happens to nations whose economies rely on oil? The possibilities are exhilarating and terrifying. After hours of driving, days of analysis, and weeks of research, here's our honest conclusion. What we saw is real. The car we tested drove for over an hour with no visible power source and no drop in its dashboard readings. What powers it remains unproven. Maxwell's explanation challenges fundamental scientific laws, and without full independent verification, we cannot declare the technology genuine. The mystery persists. Whether it's revolutionary energy harvesting, an ultra-efficient hidden battery, or a carefully managed demonstration, the world deserves transparent testing. This experience left us both excited and uneasy. If Maxwell's car is legitimate, it could usher in a future free of fuel and pollution. If not, it's a reminder that extraordinary claims can seduce even the most careful observers. Before you click away, subscribe now so you don't miss our upcoming deep dives into other breakthrough technologies and the investigations that separate fact from fantasy. And tell us in the comments. Which of these seven discoveries shocked you the most?
Do you believe Maxwell has cracked the code, or is this an elaborate illusion? Your perspective might shape our next investigation.